What is going on everybody? Thanks so much for joining me here today. My name's Jeremy. I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. All right, and this week's episode of The Drill is part two in my series working through the Gorilla Guide to X-Particles. Um, like last week, uh, I'm, I'm working on precipitation, so this is actually a snow simulation. Um, and it was very similar to how the rain was set up. Um, what was cool about this was we started to play around with actions, uh, like a kill action when the snow hit the uh, collision and the, the uh, particles actually died there and we spawned new particles. So you can do things like set up tire tracks or maybe footprints walking through the snow. So this sphere here was just a demonstration of how that worked um, and it actually erased the snow in those spots. So I'm using my skull model again here. Uh, this time I chewed off the bottom jaw. Um, realized at the end of, at the very end of my selection, I probably could have done a select connected because I think the jaw was unhinged from the rest of the model so it could come off uh, pretty easily. Um, I'm just using a skull because it's just, you know, it just looks cool. It's just a quick thing you can put in there to make it look cool. So the, what I, uh, I was, you can see I was crashing a few times there. Um, I think I was just loaded with, um, with, uh, displacement and, uh, polygons. So I was just having a lot of issues with that. Also with running particle simulation and running the screen recording. Um, so, uh, I was using the sphere here as a placeholder just for lighting and, um, and the particles while I was getting all that sorted out. So I ended up using, um, at first I was using a landscape uh, primitive, uh, but I switched to just a uh, deformer on a plane to get just a little um, little bit of, uh, you know, curvature and um, a relief to the, to the plane so that it looked, it didn't look like a perfect snow field. So um, what I did run into as an issue here is in dealing with Octane, um, I was having a hard time figuring out how to like use these particles that would be um, not, you know, that I, I want the snowflakes not to just be spheres. Um, so I used a, a Plutonic um, and I really don't like how the, the, um, the particles came out. So I'm gonna be doing more research into actually using Octane as a render engine with X particles because there's really beautiful stuff that people produce. And um, I, I like how the simulation worked in this one. You can see the snow sticking to the skull here. Um, it looks all right to me. You kind of get this like dump of, of particles, but you see like once they start sticking there, it's almost like little like spit wads that you like spit at each other in high school or something, like sticking to it. And I am not happy with how it turned out, but um, as far as the composition and everything, I think that came out pretty cool. The material was a, just a quick, um, uh, quick material, and, and that looks pretty cool. But then again, it's just like a skull, so it's it's hard to make it not look cool. So I, I added some more depth of focus here on the render to try to get that stuff out of focus um, and help the ugly particles that I made. But uh, you live and learn. So that's all for this uh, this the snow simulation. Next week I'll be diving more into the Gorilla Guide with X particles. Um, I'm not sure what the next lesson is, but we'll find out next week. So thanks again so much for joining me this week. You know how YouTube works. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitch at Jeremy underscore Walker. That's J-R-M-Y underscore W-L-K-R. You can visit my website for updates or shoot me an email at Jeremy at JeremyWalker.com. Thanks again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you all next week on The Drill.